Hi everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I will continue the problems on number systems. Let's see the first question in this session. See here, how many natural numbers, how many natural numbers between 50 and 500 have odd number of factors? How many natural numbers between 50 and 500 have odd number of factors? Here, to solve this problem, First of all, we must know for which numbers we are having odd number of factors. For which numbers we are having odd number of factors. That is very important. Without knowing this point, it is not at all possible task to solve the problem. Right? I will tell you one small example. Here, if you observe carefully, for the number 4, the number of factors. Here the factors are 1, 2 and 4. And similarly for the now, number 9, the factors are 1, 3 and uh, 9. And similarly, for the number 25, 1, 5, 25. And if you take 16, here the factors are 1, 2, 3, sorry, 1, 2, 4, 8 and next uh, 16. Right? 16. Uh, right. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. I am taking only the examples of small numbers. Here if you observe carefully for these uh, numbers, number of factors are 3. Here also 3. Here also 3. And here the number of factors are 5. Okay? What did you observe here? If you observe carefully, I will take one more example for understanding purpose. Uh, if you take uh, 18. The factors are 1, 2, 3, 6 and next uh, uh, that is 9, 18. Here the number of factors are 6. Number of factors are 6. This is even number. We don't want this number. What kind of this number is uh, and what kind of numbers is all these? If you observe carefully, all these numbers are perfect square numbers. All these numbers are perfect square numbers. So, what did you understand from this particular point is for any perfect square, for any perfect square, number of factors, number of factors are always odd number. Always odd number. Number of factors for any perfect square, always odd odd number. Here, whereas for non-perfect squares, if you take any non-perfect square, definitely you will get even number of uh, factors. So, the numbers range which is given as in between. How many natural numbers are there between 50 and 500 having odd number of factors? As we all know that for any perfect square, number of factors are always odd number right so we need to check it out after 50 what is the first perfect square and before 500 what is the last perfect square we must be aware of these kind of points here after 50 first perfect square is 64 7 square is 49 that is before 50 but after 50 that is 64 and before 500 before 500, last perfect square is 484, 22 square. This is 8 square and this is 22 square. It means uh, from 8 square onwards, 8 square, 9 square, 10 square, 11 square, 12 square, 13 square, 14 square, 15 square, 16 square, 17 square, 18 square, 19 square, 20 square, 21 square and uh, finally 22 square. For all these numbers, for all these numbers, number of factors are always uh, odd number. Once count the number of values, how many natural numbers are there? Here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Total 15. 
15 natural numbers are there. Total 15 natural numbers between 50 and 500 have odd number of factors. Every time it is not required to write all the numbers. Just take the range from 8 square to 22 square. What is the difference between 8 and 22? 14. Previously, in the previous sessions, uh, I have told you one point that whenever if you are including the starting number, if you are including the starting number, add 1. If you are not including the starting number, take the difference between these two numbers. That is, uh, that will give you the number of values. 8 and 22 difference is 14, but here I am including the starting number, therefore I am adding 1. Therefore, the number of values are 15. Number of natural numbers. 15 natural numbers are there between 50 and 500 which are having odd number of factors. Very important problem. Next question. How many natural numbers less than 1000 have exactly 3 factors? How many natural numbers less than 1000 have exactly 3 factors? This is also somewhat interlinked to that of previous problem. Here, in the previous problem for which numbers, number of factors are odd. But in this problem, for which numbers, uh, number of factors are exactly odd number. Now, I will go back to the previous slide, which is uh, the number of factors are 3, 3, 3. What are those numbers? 1 is 4, 1 is 9, 1 is 25. I will write those numbers here. 4, 9, 25. For these three numbers, uh, we are having exactly three factors. What are these numbers? These are perfect squares, undoubtedly. But what kind of perfect squares? See here. This is 2 square, this is 3 square, this is 5 square. And if you take 7 square, that is 49, the factors of 7 square, 1, 7 and 49. How many factors again? 3 factors. It means if you observe carefully, 2, 3, 5, 7 after the 11 square and 13 square, for all these numbers, for all these numbers, we are having exactly 3 factors. What are those numbers? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. All these are prime numbers. The square of the square of any prime number. Square of any prime number have exactly 3 factors. Have exactly 3 factors. Exactly three factors. This is the very important point. Without knowing this point, it is not possible to solve this problem. Right? Here, the square of any prime number is having exactly three factors. Now, before 1000, before 1000, as we are talking about uh, how many natural numbers less than 1000, what is the last square before 1000? That is 961. 961 is the square of 31, right? 31 square. Now, up to 31, up to 31, how many prime numbers are there? Up to 31. Once count, here all these numbers, 2 square, 3 square, 5 square, 7 square, 11 square, and next 13 square, 17 square, 19 square, 23 square, 29 square and uh, 31 square. For all these numbers, we are having exactly 3 factors. Here the question is, uh, how many natural numbers? How many? You can count all the values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Total 11 natural numbers. Total 11 natural numbers which are having uh, exactly 3 factors uh, less than 1000. Less than 1000 exactly 3 factors are there. That is for 11 natural numbers. Uh, and the important point which you must uh, notice is uh, 
the square of any prime number have exactly three factors have exactly three factors sir in this way you can solve these kind of problems previous problem and this problem both are very important next last question in this session find the number of prime factors find the number of prime factors in this expression here the expression is 6 power 10 into 7 power 17 into 11 power 27 guys sir if you want to calculate number of prime factors first and foremost important point you must keep it in mind is all base values must be prime numbers all base values must be prime numbers and the power values are obviously natural numbers right uh, once check it out whether all base values are prime numbers or not here 11 is a prime number 7 is a prime number but 6 is not a prime number right 6 is not a prime number if at all any non prime is there you just convert that composite number into prime factors how can you write 6 in terms of prime numbers which is nothing but 2 into 3 whole to the power of 10 into 7 power 17 into 11 power 27 right now you can write this value as 2 power 10 into 3 power 10 into 7 power 17 into 11 power 27 now if you observe carefully in this expression all base values are prime numbers all base values are prime numbers 2 3 7 11 now it is very easy to calculate a number of uh, prime factors number of uh, prime factors that is very simple it is nothing but uh, sum of all power values sum of all power values that will gives you the number of prime factors 10 plus 10 plus 17 plus 27 now you can add all these values 10 plus 10 20 20 30 50 64 total 64 number of prime factors for this number for this expression is 64 first and foremost important point you must keep it in mind is uh, all base values must be prime number whenever we are calculating number of prime factors uh, once you are converted into that particular given composite number in the base value into prime factors uh, you can easily calculate number of prime factors by adding all the power values 10 plus 10 plus 17 plus 27 which is equal to 64 that is the required answer for this question guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thanks for watching